Hello people of the internet, welcome back to my channel. Today I will walk you through basically the behind the scene of a recent shoot that I had for the Bengali New Year, which is my nationality. So let's just jump in. <laughs> okay, so I am using my iPad mini, which I always use to edit uh, any kind of my photos or uh, videos um, throughout the day because it's easy to travel with. So as you can see that we were taking some behind the scene last minute photos. This was towards the end of the shoot. Uh, when we were done, we were heading back uh, to the car. This was basically like towards the end of the park. And she, as you can see, she has her jacket on. And uh, my amazing friend Hifsa, who is the makeup artist of this shoot, is taking some close-ups for her uh, portfolio. I will be tagging all the jewelries, makeup artist, hair and makeup, um, and the model herself at the end at, in the link of the video. Uh, if you would like uh, to contact them or work with them and please do give them a follow because they're amazing and uh, very very talented so we are just doing some behind the scenes shoots so at the beginning of the shoot as you can see I am kind of like more uh, directional when I'm doing these kind of photo shoots and small videos for the social media um, because I don't do bigger movies I just usually do you know social media like reels and TikToks so in this portion you can see that she's slowly looking for away and then um, from like she's looking at the Sun and then she's looking towards me slowly as I'm directing her this kind of gives me the vibe of um, you know like not being in focus and then suddenly she looks at the camera like you know grabbing the attention of the audience, if that makes sense. We also had a hard time working with the sunlight because it was not fully cloudy. So there were some clouds in the sky, but it was not fully cloudy. So the sun was going, you know, uh, behind the cloud and then coming back and, you know, so you will see it time to time that the, the lighting changes because of, uh, you know, the sun not being a good paid actor. In the next shoot, you can see that I'm taking her uh, back side of the video. Um, during these kind of photo shoots, if you are collabing with other artists, other talented, amazing, uh, creative folks like yourself, I try to, you know, take either like a photo or a video where I can show the details of their work. It kind of, you know, appreciate that you are, you know, like basically um, sharing their work while sharing your own amazing work at the same time. So as I mentioned in this uh, video, as you can see that she is just uh, doing like that off guard thing with her hair, playing with her hair and not looking at the camera and then slowly looking at the camera and then having this motion of like, you know, being in her own world. And these are the things that I like the most to shoot because it not only just you know your the as an audience you look at the video and kind of like oh you know she's not focusing in the camera she's just doing whatever she wants to do and kind of like um like how should i say it like it's not staged it doesn't look like it's scripted but then suddenly like slowly she looks at you to grab your attention and you feel connected um and that like that is what i'm trying to create in this in my content basically so as you can see she's playing with her hair and in the next uh, clip as you can see like I'm taking a little bit more close-up because I wanted to take a portion of like the jewelry the detail of the makeup the lashes her hair and all those things and as, as I said that the lighting was not cooperating it was super bright I had everything super low ISO low I had uh, my aperture setting high and my shutter speed uh, lower so that you know I can adjust the lighting I'm always try to have fun with your clients in these kind of shoots so we were like telling jokes and talking with her and telling her how to 
basically just we actually changed up location towards the end of the photo shoot because um, it was getting crowded on the bridge and we also wanted you know uh, basically change up the settings um, so in this uh, second location as you can see there's water behind her and the sun was hitting so amazingly it's still too bright but you know we have to work our magic I you know just told her to like just have fun and kind of things and you know just just like feel feel the vibe so you are more natural than rather than scripted as you can see she was cooperating with it and I also asked her like if she had any kind of um, like um, portraits or looks she was uh, looking for so this is something that she wanted to do kind of referring to Bridgerton where um, Kate Sharma does the hand gesture and we tried our best to capture it and I will add the reel actually I added the reel at the beginning of the video so one of the reel that I added uh, was uh, this shot close up um, if you want to see it feel free to follow me on Instagram to uh, see that reel coming through and as you can see she is being really gorgeous uh, during this part. Um, I also want to mention that don't forget to like look around yourself like around your surroundings around your surroundings um, to get details and stuff. We actually dropped one of the roses in the water by mistake um, but we also saw some turtles and this is just me as you can see like this is how I look like from the back unfortunately it doesn't look cute like taking in as much footage as possible because it might look good when you are shooting it but when you go and you know import the footage into the iPad or like your computer and you start editing it out you start thinking like oh I wish I had one more footage of this so that I can like make it more seamless or like make it a certain way or the way I envisioned it so that it comes out better but um we did like multiple uh, times as you can see like I'm like you know telling her to come back and she did it I think four or five times to make sure like we were able to have her go back and uh, you know come forward with in, in slow-mo and this shot was uh, done with my phone because I was done with the with the time at the, uh, by the time like she told us uh, or like by the time we were ready to do this uh, before I finish this video I just want to say that these kind of videos like ha try to have fun not even this like any kind of photo shoot try to have fun with your clients because the more uh, you know like uh, comfortable they are with you the more it's gonna be easier to model them or like pose them um, for any kind of shoots if it's a couple shoot or a photo shoot like this or I don't know any kind of family shoot or wedding or anything um, and try to uh, I try to take in um, off guard photos as in like they're not looking at the camera or paying attention to the camera just doing you know like making themselves busy with um, some kind of activity so it doesn't look like as highly scripted of course if it's a portrait of course like you want your client to look at the camera but if it's something creative like this uh, then try not to have them look too much towards the camera try not to have them uh, look frozen try to have a conversation beforehand try to direct them try to create a scene or a vision that you're trying to uh, work with uh, for that photo shoot this will help a lot to uh, visualize for yourself uh, for brainstorming and also visualize uh, the people that you're collaborating with because these people also have to understand what you are envisioning and that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching this video if you have made it towards the end then please do subscribe to my channel uh, click that like button uh, please do share with everyone and I will be uh, linking my Instagram for you to watch the rest of the reels and the information of the other content not the content actually the creative artists that I worked with for this shoot and I'll see you in the next video